Hi there. Thank you so much for being here today. Welcome back to my channel and happy new year. If, um, if I haven't said it before to you, so happy new year. I hope it's so far been a wonderful January and wonderful 2021 for you. And, um, we're going to have a little eco-friendly, sustainable fun today with the Kiwi box. So let's jump right into what Kiwi Box is. Um, it is this is my first month receiving it. It is a monthly subscription of eco-friendly sustainable items. It does not, because they're eco-friendly and sustainable, it, they do not send a, uh, a newsletter with information for their products. Instead, instead, it says to open the camera app, point it steady for two to three seconds towards the QR code, and the QR code will open in. Okay, so I pulled up the thing, and I had to pull it up in CrateJoy because their website, Kiwi Eco's website, already shows the January items, and this is the December box. I'm going to love the January box, let me just say. So anyways, th this is a monthly subscription box and they start as low as $23 a month, 23 and change uh, for the 12 month subscription. And then it goes up from there. I think I paid $25 or $27 for it. I really should get this stuff and be able to tell you. And so once I untie the little packages, the inside of the box. Let's hope nothing falls out. And this month it came with six items. All of them are, are sustainable, eco-friendly items, of course. So the first one that we have here is the coconut water bottle brush. Oh, you know, at first glance, I was like, that's kind of a strange back rubber, but water bottle brush makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Um, the next item we have here is the eco-friendly, the bamboo socks from Eco Socks. Bamboo socks. So they are key cushioning in the footbed, desert dry, pulls moisture away from the foot. 60% softer than cotton. They are really soft. Uh, green and natural bamboo is a sustainable resource that needs no irrigation, fertilizer, or pesticides. Plus, we don't use performance-enhancing chemical additives or conditioners. They are really soft, and they are like a sports sock. They have that little middle part right here that a lot of sports socks have. Hey, um, hi. Just jumping in here real quick. One minute. I already wore the socks and loved them. They are phenomenal. Super comfortable. Uh, great to walk around in. I walked around for a few miles. I went um, filming for another channel in a town and walked around downtown. So I walked a couple of miles in in those socks, and they were they were really fantastic. Foot stays a comfy temperature, smooth toe seam integrated to reduce friction. Uh, viscous fibers from bamboo have all the benefits of merino wool, but are softer and offer less blister causing friction. They are 80% bamboo, 10% polyester, 5% nylon, 3% spandex, and 2% rubber. Eco socks, by the way, is US made. They are from Ohio. So there we go, eco-friendly socks. Activewear workforce everywhere. Um, I like them, I like them a lot. Have no idea what the retail on those suckers are but I will try and find it on their website and post it in the video somewhere so that you know. Here we have, also everything in this box is very either, it doesn't have packaging or it has very minimal packaging. None of the bright, fancy packaging things. So, th oh, this is the natural corn dental floss in a metal container. It's not a metal container, that's a glass container. Anyways, okay, so let's start over, shall we? There it 
there it is. It even feels like waxed floss. Interesting. I wish I had more information about these things. I wish I could find it. Um, so natural corn dental floss in, in a metal container. Excellent. We can always use dental floss, right? The information has got to be somewhere because they've got to have it available for you if you want to, you know, continue your sustainable ways and buy more. So I'll just have to find it and post it in the video. Here we have Little Otter Lip Balm, 100% natural, 100% compostable, four ingredients made in Georgia. 10% net revenue to clean water. So it says it's vegetarian, no animal testing. Hey, 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 no. Crystal the cat wants to get in the box. Um, biodegradable and soy-based ink. It's made in Atlanta and you see a little fine print. Uh, made out of cocoa, uh, coconut oil, beeswax, peppermint, and rosemary. Yeah, smells like peppermint. Doesn't have much of a smell of... Uh, it smells like a, you know, feels like a lip balm. Excellent. Natural lip balm. We have here the wooden New Year tree decoration, which is a little kiwi. Isn't that one cute? So it's all wood. Has their website in the back. Their little eco-friendly kiwi on the front. Kiwi bird. So that'll be, um, that'll go on, that'll go in, in the ornament box to put up on the Christmas tree next year. And the last item in the box is Mom's Tea for the Soul, Kiwi Eco Box. Handpicked herbal tea from Le Tea. So this says, this lovely tea was handmade by Mother Nature, handpicked with love by our mom on the slopes of the south of Ukraine to help you unwind, relax, and chill out. Ingredients are St. John's wort, linden, jasmine, chamomile, mint, lemon balm, tea rose, thyme, hawthorn, tansy, blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, and sage. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, wow. So, you know, normally you see tea like ground down to um, ground down. Yeah, none of that here. You are actually going to be brewing your stuff as if I had just pulled it out of the garden. Not what I was expecting, interesting. I can't wait to try that. Same thing for my spa night tonight. My, I'm going to brew some of this, see what it tastes like. I'll show you guys a cup here. And it's good. I let it steep for a long time because those big chunks of flowers and plants, I just thought they wouldn't brew as quickly as, you know, a regular cut up blend. I could be wrong, but it's good. And it, and it steeped just long enough. It has a mild, slightly sweet flavor. Go this way. And, you know, it tastes like tea. This is the Kiwi box. So let me know if you've received this box and what you think of it. And if you haven't received yours, this box, what you think of it? Are you on a sustainability kick? Are you looking for these kinds of things? What's going on in your life? I'd love to know. And of course, you know what to do next. Thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Um, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And as always, have yourselves a fantabulous day.